We do also not have information in regards to how many people have been injured. We're feeling aftershocks right now in the studio as we speak. The Pacific Warning Center has issued tsunami warning not just for Japan, but for Russia, Marcus Islands, Northern Marianas, Guam, Wake Island, and Taiwan. In Miyagi Prefecture, the, in northeastern Japan, the intensity was 7 on Japan's seismic scale of 0 to 7. That's the highest level on Japan's seismic scale, and it's the same level as that that hit the great Hanshin earthquake in 1995. Obviously, someone inside that building waving a white towel seeking help. Obviously, doing the right thing of moving to higher ground. The Meteorological Agency City in Iwate Prefecture in northern Japan. I'm reporting this from the studio of NHK World in Tokyo. We are feeling the aftershocks as I speak during this hour. Lights are shaking inside the studio, but here is a visual of Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture, northern Japan. As you can see, the uh, tsunami has already engulfed several boat city in Iwate Prefecture. We've been reporting earlier on that the, the meteorological agency has issued a warning for tsunami up to six meters deep, uh, six meters high, and this is what's happening right as we speak. A large tsunami engulfing the port of Kawa Kamaishi in Iwate え、え、there has also been massive power failure in areas hit hard by the quake in the northeastern part of the country. Five nuclear power plants in the northern area have been shut down. Airports in Narita and Miyagi Prefecture are closed. Three of the runways in Haneda Airport have been reopened, obviously, for planes that have been circling around the top of the Tokyo city for them, for them being able to land. You're seeing some fires in Fukushima uh, Prefecture. Our planes covering uh, fires breaking out in Fukushima Prefecture, northern Japan, where an earthquake, not only an earthquake, but a tsunami has hit the area. Looks like a fire completely out of control in Fukushima Prefecture. Firefighters obviously having a difficult time in this kind of situation to be able to get to this to turn out the an inferno fire breaking out and oil, a large fire breaking out on an oil refinery in Chiba Prefecture. Black smoke seen billowing from the refinery. And it looks like firefighters are having an almost impossible situation to be able to control that at this time. A large fire breaking out of an oil refinery northeast of Tokyo. Black billowing out from that oil refinery. Several fires have broken out in the Tokyo and surrounding areas. The fire department says fires have reported in several places, including uh, reclaimed land of Ariake in central Tokyo. Pacific Tsunami Warning Center has extended the area where tsunami waves may strike. This warning now includes Indonesia, Hawaii, Australia, New Zealand, and the South American 
Pacific coast, including Mexico, Chile, and Peru. Earlier, the center issued a warning for Japan, Marcus Islands, the northern Marianas, Guam, Wake Island, and Taiwan. In Miyagi Prefecture, northeastern Japan, an intensity of seven, the maximum, was recorded. You're looking at an NHK helicopter capturing images of an oil refinery in Chiba Prefecture near Tokyo on fire. Black smoke 